What is going on guys, my name is Halvi and today I'm going to be bringing to you another deep chat video. Um, this is my, as uh, most of you know, this is like my favorite series to do because this is the series where I get to get down and get real with you guys and, and chat about things and topics that you guys have questions on, some serious, some you know just random, whatever. Um, and uh, it's, it's really cool, I love being able to do this because when I started with my YouTube channel this is the series that I wanted to start more than anything and I have the audience now that I'm able to answer these questions and, and hopefully help make a difference um, in this world for the better with uh, with you guys and hopefully be able to make your guys' lives a little bit better, a little bit easier, what, what not, what have you. Um, so today's video is one of the more deeper videos. I like to be wacky and goofy and whatever um, in all my videos and stuff and it's that's just that's who I am, it's fun. But I also have a serious side as some of you know. Um, and I have a lot of life experience with a lot of things, but uh, I was hit with a pretty, pretty intense question um, a little, a, a little bit back on uh, on Twitter, and um, this guy asked me to not put his name in the in the video, so I'm going to just go ahead and read this to you. Uh, and it's a serious issue. And um, before I get into it a little bit, you know, just give some context. Uh, it was, I mean, you guys will see, it's in relation to suicide, and. Um, and stuff like that and I you know I'm not sure what the situation is with this one specifically I tried getting back to this person a, a couple times after the fact and I never heard back and um, I don't really like to or want to think about what that means or if that means anything or you know I'm not sure but um, I figured you know what I want to make this video anyways because this can may not only apply to this person but could apply to anybody else and if you any of you have friends that are going through something like this you know if maybe my hindsight can help out something like that and you know if uh, I mean God willing if it helps save a life then that's you know makes gives me so much more purpose on this in this world and stuff so um, I'm gonna go ahead and read you the question so this person says this hey Halvi I was talking to my best friend on Skype earlier today. Everything was going fine and then suddenly she just said she's going to commit suicide. Her last messages to me were goodbye, I love you, and see you in heaven. I tried messaging her back. Now three hours later she still hasn't responded. Please help me. Maybe talk about it in a video. So I saw this message and I just was like, I don't even know how to respond to something like that because that, you know, that goes beyond all all boundaries of of reasoning and um, and just advice and that's something that's like you know life life or death literally and you know like I said I I don't know you know what the status is on this I don't know if what happened through that I, I'd like to hope and pray that um, that this person's okay and that they made it through it uh, granted again I, I'm not sure but I figured like I said I want to talk about this because this doesn't just apply to this person hopefully it can still uh, but this applies to anybody who has thoughts of it, who have friends who have thoughts of it, or if they ever may come across somebody like that in the future. So, my thoughts on suicide. Now, uh, there's a lot of different ways of seeing it, and I know that there's a lot of people who, um, and, and it's unfortunate because I personally, for those of you that don't know, um, I'm a Christian. I don't necessarily like follow any specific religion per se, but I grew up Seventh-day Adventist. Um, and... Uh, and I guess as I've grown out of, you know, spirituality or grown into my spirituality and everything like that, I kind of have grown a little bit further apart from religion in the sense of rules and boundaries and all that stuff because there's just a lot of religious things that make no sense, honestly. And for those of you that are a little bit more uneducated or are atheist or agnostic or whatever, just because you're Christian does not mean that you're one of those hyper freak religious people. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I've sit and had amazing conversations with atheists and, and love that to hear their points of view, you know, in the end, it doesn't matter what it is. It's whatever it is going to be is what it is. Um, but that's another story for another time. Um, but it bugs me because I've heard of a lot of religious people, uh, who claim to be Christian and God and loving and all these things. And yet they sit here and they say, you know, people who commit suicide don't have a place in heaven and all of these things. And I know that a lot of you don't, may not believe in a heaven or anything like that. Um, but you obviously understand the idea of it. And um, to me, that's just absurd. You know what? I can understand to a point. I can see both sides. Um, suicide can be seen as something selfish in the sense of, you know, you are taking yourself away from something. You're taking your own life, uh, which means that you're leaving the, all of your family and friends who love you and all of these things to suffer the fact that you've gone and all of these things. But here's the thing. People don't just commit suicide you know, just whatever, 
if they commit suicide, that's typically because they feel like they don't have anybody who loves them. Um, I have experienced a couple, not close friends or by any means, but I've experienced a couple people in my life who have committed suicide. And it's just like, you just, you know, you just sit and think to yourself, what could I have done? And, and again, you know, there's not to, to that point, there's always something that you can do um, to help people in general. But, you know, there's a lot of times where, you know, it's not your fault. It's not your fault that they're, that they're doing what they're doing. But the reality of the situation is with suicide, it's more often than not, these people who get to the point of doing that, um, they f- truly feel like there is no place for them in this world, that there is no better you know, future for them, that there is no love, that no one loves them, no one cares about them. And oftentimes, um, too, it can end up being where they are a little bit mentally deficient in something, in chemical balance, whatever, because most normal people um, won't get to that point ever. And, and, you know, so I guess the thing is, is for me, whenever I've heard of that or if I've ever, because I've had a, actually, because I feel like you don't know, I work ambulance dispatch. Um, but I also get you know emergency calls, and I've had to work with somebody who talk them down from from committing suicide, and you know it's a really heavy experience because you're literally sitting there pinning it on yourself as whether they live or die is, is up to you, and that's a really hard thing to deal with. But you know when done right, and luckily thank God they didn't um, actually commit suicide, so that was good. But from what I learned from that experience with myself too is there's really you know what. You can't just sit here and try to talk them off the ledge. You can't just sit here and, and say, you know, oh, don't do it, don't do it, blah, blah, blah. Because a lot of times, a lot of times, honestly, it's sad, but it's true. Um, people will get to the point of saying they want to commit suicide because they really want this attention. They wouldn't actually do it. They'd get close, but they would never actually do it. Um, and they really want attention. They're the attention seekers, whatever. But then there are the rare few who just truly feel so lonely and sad that they want to do it. They want to kill themselves. Um, Without making this too extremely long of a video here, uh, just to kind of get to the point and stuff too, in general, if you ever have experienced something like that, you know, I have to say you, you really should talk to somebody about it. I know that, you know, sometimes I've heard of people who say, well, they're my friend and they say they don't want me to talk to anybody and I don't want to feel, make them feel betrayed and all this stuff. Yes, but what if, this is what I like would say to somebody in that situation, is if, if you were in that situation, one of your friends says, I feel like committing suicide, but don't tell anyone. What if they did and you didn't tell anyone? You know, what if they really did commit suicide and you're sitting there, I knew the whole time and I didn't say anything. And, you know, you don't, don't put yourself in that position. If they get to the point where they're going to actually talk to you about the fact that they're wanting to commit suicide, regardless of what they say, that is a plea for help. That is them acknowledging within themselves enough to want to tell somebody that they are they need help they want help so help them you know even if they say not to do whatever if they've gotten to the point of asking somebody or talking to somebody about it they're already doing it they're already asking for help so help them by letting somebody know tell professionals tell your your uh, school counselor tell their parents tell your parents you know don't spread around with your friends that's only going to make things worse um but what I would say is, you know, say, hey, this person could use some love. You know, I try my best every time I see somebody, say, hey, how's it going? How's your day? Give them a smile. Give them a hug, high five, whatever, you know. And even if it's a random stranger, I'll be walking down the street, just like, hey, how's it going, you know. Like, you never know how something's so simple because to some people who don't feel that, somebody just randomly walking by that they don't know and saying, hey, how are you doing, is showing interest in them. And sometimes for people that may never feel that, never feel in- be, that they're interested in, that they're, there's people who care about them, whatever, even something as small as that can save someone's life. And so, um, you know, just to, to, address the, uh, to address the comment th- itself specifically, you know, in, in that situation where she says, I'm going to commit suicide, goodbye, I'll see you in heaven, I love you, all these things. She cares. This person is caring. This person obviously has things wrong that she's wanting to do this i you know and 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 you never want to take it as as just a a cry for attention you never want to just take it as that even though that is what it is always assume you know it's no it sucks but you know you sometimes want to assume the worst you don't want to lose this person so you got to take necessary action but what i would do so putting myself in these shoes my best friend just says this to me you know what i feel like i would do to them is just say I'm not going to sit here and try to talk you out of this. And as crazy as that sounds, I just want you to realize something that I, I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what could possibly be causing you to get to the thing. And I know that you're probably really hurting. 
I know that you're having a hard time right now to the point that you feel so unloved or whatever it is that you feel that you need to do this, but I need you to realize one thing. I don't care who you say, if you feel unloved, whatever, I love you as a person. I care about you and, and try if you can to think of me as your best friend you would hurt me and, and would make me feel terrible for the rest of my life if this was something you did. So please, if you know, if not for yourself, even think of me. Think of your family. Think of what they would feel, you know, if you were in this situation. And it's not a guilt trip. It's just a realization. It's not. It's not guilt. It's the truth. It's like make them realize you are cared about. You are wanted, and you mean more to me and more to your family, more to people around you than you give yourself credit for. And then help them realize that, you know. As far as telling people, I would get through that and then tell people, be like, hey, her par- call up her parents, hey, hey, she said this to me, please keep an eye on her, please, you know, comfort her, whatever, she's obviously going through a lot, and, you know, I know that she told me not to tell, but I need you to, you know, I really need you to take care of this, and then talk to the, you know, counselor or whatever too, because they're, they're able to help. Um, now, on the other side, say that happens, say she does end up killing herself, despite everything. Number one, at least you know that you tried. At least you know that you reached out, you tried to help. Do not ever pin it on yourself because it's not your fault. Somebody killing themselves is not your fault ever. Um, and uh, unless, you, of course, you're like extreme bullying, in that case, it's really must up of you to do. But uh, always know if they're reaching out to you, it's never going to be your fault if they ever do it. And, and that you need to realize, you know what? They're going to be in a better place, hopefully. Um, you know, for those of you that believe in God and, and spirituality and stuff, like you know what, they're going to heaven. They're going to a better place. I don't care what really hyper-religious people say. I don't believe in that there would be such thing as somebody who could create us that would you know, say, well, you killed yourself because you were suffering, and uh, because you killed yourself, you can't come to heaven, whatever. That's bull. Like That's so much crap. I would never believe that for a second. Um, but you know what, and, and even if you don't, if they were going through the point that they have so much suffering in their life that they wanted to end it, well, they're not suffering anymore. You know, it's just you always want to try to find the bright side of things. So I know this is a deep hitting topic and I could talk about this for hours, but I just kind of wanted to leave you with a little bit of understanding. And if there's anything that anybody and everybody could take from this, it's be loving, man. Be loving to people. You know, don't you never know when is your last day is going to be not even just with suicide, but with accidents, with all that stuff. You never know. So so be loving, be caring. And I challenge each and every one of you, every single one of you, I guarantee you, if you guys do this as simple as it is, and if you can do it regularly, it's going to change your life. You're, like, you're going to feel like such a much more happy person when you're walking to school, when you're walking to work, if you're going, you know, whatever, on your way into the grocery store. You know, as you're walking by somebody, the first person you see, make eye contact with them if they do. Ask them, hey, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Just something simple like that. I challenge you to do that. And I guarantee you, not only will you feel 10 times better about your day just because you did something awesome, you did something nice, you know, that makes you feel good. Um, but I guarantee you, you can really help out people around you too because it spreads like a virus. That happiness, that positive energy is an amazing virus that spreads quickly. Um, but I think that's the most important thing, you know, is, is with suicide, without whatever, just be nice because you never know who could really just use a smile, you know, pointed their way. So with that said, I hope you guys have taken something from this. I love you all. And the reason I always say stay beautiful is because I truly believe each and every person, and I know this is kind of cheesy, but whatever, it's true. That's why I say it is because every single person, you know, watching this is beautiful in their own way, in whatever way. I'm not saying you guys are all physically beautiful, which I'm sure you are, but, uh, you know, Every person on this planet, everyone watching this video has a purpose and has a point and you're all beautiful. So with that cheesy stuff out of the way, stay beautiful, have a fantastic freaking day and we'll see you later.